Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things Blogspot.com. I um kind of lost my voice over the weekend. I think I talked too much. <laughs> Unbelievable, huh? But anyway, I um when I came back from the my family reunion weekend, I had a box waiting for me, and I had been waiting for this for a minute. So I actually um got this idea from watching some YouTube videos and I saw Jennings 644 she had them I asked her where she received them from I got them from and she told me she ordered hers from eBay but I thought she had them for sale but anyway I went ahead and I looked for them on eBay these are vintage um, miniatures pencil sharpeners this is one that I received it and I looked until I found a pretty good lot um, I guess because they're in demand right now the prices are going up I was able to buy a lot of 45 for 50 dollars so they cost me about a mm, dollar and some change a piece a dollar and a few pennies but this is a typewriter and it's in pretty good condition except for I see that this plate needs to probably be adjusted and moved in and I also have a cash register and the drawer actually comes out so it is functional and nothing on here moves but it's in pretty good condition so that's that and they look so antique -y. I have this saw machine as you can see if you move this the needle moves up and down I wanted these to put in a curio I want to make me a little curio here's a little rocking chair and here is a, I think this is a weight, and the hands, um, the hands actually move. It looks like a clock, doesn't it? I think it is a clock, yeah. But the piece that's supposed to be on the back to turn it, that is missing. I purchased this as a used uh, lot. Then I have this doodad here, and I guess it's for cement and it's functional also it actually turns um, I have a ship here I didn't even I see the wheels here turn but I don't know what else it does once the wheels turn um, that's that yeah and they're all pencil sharpeners um, I have a clock here and I don't see that it does anything but the grandfather clock there and matter of fact I have two of those yeah I have two grandfather clocks and I also got two of the globes these are the only two pieces that were alike two of the globes and I don't know what this is um, maybe it's a weight looks like an iron I don't know but uh, yeah that's one of the pieces and I received I mean this right here and I don't know if it's a stove or what but it has drawers here and a big door there and it opens up so I don't know if it's a stove or or what but that's one of the pieces and then I have the what's this the something the phonograph old-fashioned phonograph I don't know what it is but it turns but and it also oops I'm sorry the pieces are also functional and I don't know if this is picks it up or what but it's it turns but it's not I don't see that it's doing anything yeah 
and I have this windmill looks like a Holland kind of windmill have that then I have a little cuckoo clock and if you turn it as you can see the clock cuckoo comes out and then I have this don't ask me what it is um, I don't know but I figured it would be a nice piece in a shadow box and then I have the washing machine or you know where you put the clothes through and it goes through you, you, some of you remember this stuff and the clothes ring through and the water drains down into the wash bucket and then this is I don't know what this is but um, yeah it has wheels on it um, has a barrel so I don't know exactly what it is but you push it like that so it could be I don't know I can't even begin to think all of these are in pretty good condition so but I can't tell you um, the person I got them from the shipment was okay but it could have been packed um, a little better than it was out of the 45 pieces she sent me only one broke and that's this the wheels the little wheels came off and I guess because everything was so heavy he had broken shipment okay and then I have this right here this little piece I can easily glue it on but it's a violin it came that piece came off but I could easily glue it back on and I have another musical piece which is the harp these are just really cute I really like them um, this I don't know if it's a boiler or what this piece actually turns and this opens up so I don't know what it is but that's it then I have a plane but an old-fashioned kind of do that and there you go that plane there these are going to be really great pieces to put in a configuration box um, this right here and if you turn it looks like uh, something that goes on a boat northwest here and if you turn it this back back piece right here moves left and right yeah so that works then I have something else and you turn it up and down it actually sharpens <laughs> no it I don't know if it moves or what it does but that's the other piece. These are some cute little pieces. I just can't wait until I put at least one of the um, configuration boxes together. So I can put these pieces in here. <laughs> A toilet. I'll say, yeah, A little toilet. Here's a tractor and it was red. And I'm, I'm looking at the date on it. All of these were made in Hong Kong, but this one is red. And it does have, you know, the legs and such move. Yeah. Which I thought it was a great idea. This lantern also came in red. It's real cute. A little miniature thought it was really cute <coughs> and here's a wagon a covered wagon and it just has moving wheels on the front um, this uh, a tank and this 
pot here moves. There you go. And I have a piano. And the top moves up. Yeah. The top comes up. Then I have a fan. And the uh, and it's functional. It moves. These are some great pieces. I really um, like this. Kind of glad I got them now. One of those Model T cars. And it just has moving wheel parts. Yeah. Really cute. And I have a wishing well here. And this actually picks the bucket let's see picks the bucket up if you can see that the bucket is there and the chain is on it and you roll it where is that bucket <laughs> I can't show it to you but yeah the bucket actually picks the bucket up and there is it with the and there's a motorcycle here. Yep, the front of it turns. Really cute. And then I got this boot. It <laughs> looks a little too big for whatever, but yeah, there's a boot here. So, then there's this trumpet. Is that? Yeah, it's just on here. It doesn't do anything. So I do have a pretty good collection of things that. Okay, I have this. Um. <laughs> what is this thing with the slot machine? Yes, that's what that is. They actually have moving parts. I don't see any drawers or anything on here, so I guess that's the only thing that is what it is. Yeah. And I have this lamp. This is really cute. I could have sworn I had this. So either somebody had this before and I've seen it somewhere but yeah this is a lamp I guess this is the kerosene part that flows and lights the lights the lamp and then I have a another telephone and this is the old-fashioned ones with the little mouthpiece here it goes there And I have another Model T car. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> it says 1917 on here. Yeah. And I have another tractor. And this one isn't painted. And matter of fact, it's the exact as this one, except for this one has been painted red. I like the antique one better. So yeah, I have two of those. That one's painted red, this one isn't. And like I said, I got 45 of these. I'm, I think I showed you everything that I had. Um, this was a great, great um, haul for me because I wanted all of these pieces and I, I was able to get them all in one scoop from one um, seller. Alright, that's Miss Dee at Thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye.